All right, today I'm going to be going over a quick and effective way to do a free competitive analysis. So this is a process that I use if a new client reaches out to me. I use a few different tools sometimes just to find some of their competitors, and even if it's not competitors, some of the leaders in their industry, and use some of the leaders in their industry to find additional competitors, to find some of the most relevant keywords, and to find some ideas as far as an advertising strategy. So the tools that I'm going to be using today throughout this video are, are all completely free. So if you have access to SEMrush or Ahrefs or any of the other tools, you can use these tools to do the same exact job. But right now we're going to be using completely free tools and I'm going to use Google Trends. I'm going to be using the Google Keyword Planner. I'm going to be using the Google Ads Transparency Center. I'm going to be using the Meta or Facebook Ad Library. I'm also going to be using the free competitive research tool through Moz Pro. So if you sign up for a Moz account, you can get access to this tool. Go directly to this URL. You get 10 searches every single month. So you don't really need to do these searches that often in the competitive research. So there are limitations. But even with a couple searches, you can find all sorts of competitors. The other tool that is completely free to use with absolutely no limitations is the Hoth.com. They have some of the best free keyword research tools, and they're all powered by SEMrush. So I found some of these different tools, and I've been using a lot of them recently, and I'm hoping they don't make them uh, paid tools eventually, but I think they use all these tools to basically drive people to some of their different SEO services. So let's get started, and the example I'm going to be using today is let's just say a chiropractor reaches out to me, and they say, I am a chiropractor. I want to run Google ads. I want to run Facebook ads. I want to run Bing ads. Uh, can you help me with an overall strategy? And the other thing that I'm always looking for are keywords. So I'll send my clients a list of relevant keywords just to make sure that I am giving them the most information I possibly can so they can use all of that information within their marketing strategy. So one of the first things I'll do is I'll just come right over here to Google Trends and just enter that search term. So this could be for literally anything. So anything that somebody is selling, what you you're trying to do is either use that search term. Oh, I didn't enter the full search term. Let's make sure we enter the full search term here. So we're going to be using chiropractor. You can look at the occupation, the topic. A lot of times I just look directly at the search term. So I look in the country United States since that's where I am located. I generally look so past 90 days, past 12 months. So for this example, I'm just going to be looking at the past 90 days. You can see the interest over time. All categories I'm going to leave as is. And then you can actually look web search, image search, news search, Google Shopping, and YouTube. So all of these can become in handy with Google Trends. So if I enter this chiropractor search term, we can see the interest over time, pretty consistent. Interest by subregion. But really what we're trying to do is get down here to related topics. So these are some of the rising topics here. So a couple different things that this helps me with. Looking at rising and top. So with top, you can see some of the top topics related to chiropractor. Some of these are pretty obvious, but generally what you're going to find is at least one, two, three topics that are going to be brands. So in this case, the joint chiropractic. So that is what I'm going to end up using throughout this video is the joint chiropractic and kind of looking at some of the different things they do with their marketing strategy in terms of Google ads, in terms of Facebook ads, and then just trying to find some of their keywords as well. The other thing over here are some of the related search terms. These, I always like the rising search terms because these can represent some of the different topics that you can say immediately to your client, here are some of the topics that I'm seeing that are actually trending right now, that are rising right now, things that we could potentially create content about, things where we should say, okay, do we are we answering these questions on our website? Do you need a referral? Are chiropractors safe? ASMR chiropractor. Do chiropractors go to medical school? So all of these are different rising types of related search queries. And then the other thing you're going to see here is Thrive Chiropractic. So you may find some other brands in here as well, um, some different techniques in there. So that could be something that could be helpful and just things that you can send directly to a chiropractor that you're working with. If I come over here to top, I can see the top search terms. So these are other ones that I also like to send. And within the top search terms, you're also going to find brand names here as well. And then you're going to find all sorts of things that are things you would never even think of. So if we come back over here, uh, things like uh, dog chiropractor. So it's like, okay, people are bringing their dogs to the chiropractor now, I guess. So these are things that you can always send to your clients. But out of this information, generally what I'm looking for is a brand name. And then in addition to that, I also try to look at some of these different search terms, topics, and put together a report just based on Google Trends. Pulling out the top search terms here, pulling out any of these different topics that are relevant. So the activator technique, what is that? Is that something I can tell to the chiropractor client I'm working with? So sciatica, so how it can help with sciatica pain, how it can help with nerve pain, with back pain vertebral column. So these are things I really know absolutely nothing about. So 
what my biggest takeaway from this right now is if we're looking at some of the rising, we're looking at the top, is I'm going to take the joint chiropractic here. So there's a lot of different things we can do with that. First and foremost, go right to their website and see what are they doing on their website. Right on the homepage, new patient special. Let's see what their introductory offer is. New patient special for $29, and they have a quick lead form here. So it's like, is your client doing something like that? Find a location, franchise. These aren't all going to be relevant. So a plans and pricing page here, and then you have health benefits. So you're going to have a ton of different uh, articles related to all the health benefits. So this is something you want to tell your client. We need to make sure that we are writing all of these different, all of these different pieces of content on our website so that we can tell people all the health benefits of them visiting a chiropractor. So you can see they have a ton of different pricing packages here that are very transparent on their website. So why don't we try to take and look in some of the different things that they're doing? If you want to take it a step further, you can look at social media strategies. I don't really do a ton of with social media management or any social media strategy, but if you are working with a large client, it's definitely something that they appreciate if you say, here are what your competitors are doing and your competitors are very successful. So from there with the joint, there's a few different things that we can do. Number one, you can go to moz.com and you can say, okay, let's enter the joint.com. We're going to use this domain and use our preferred market of the United States. Let's copy this, find competitors. We're going to do the same thing in the Hoth tool here. So this is a free tool as well. And in here, we're going to view the competition report. So you can see I've entered my own beachfront decor and farmhouse goals in these tools before. And right now, what they're going to give us are some of these different competitors here. The one thing I really like about the Hoth is they have AdWords keywords. So we can actually take it a step further and see some of the different ads that some of these competitors are running. And then you can also use all of these different links to find keywords within the Google Keyword Planner. So I'll show you exactly how I do that. Now we did the joint.com, the domain authority is 55, and now we have some top competitor URLs. This is not perfect because generally there's going to be things like Yelp, which isn't necessarily a competitor of the joint, but what you're trying to do is find other relevant websites in here. So, so between this list here and between the Moz list here, we basically have an endless supply of competitors that we can use. And what we can do with the competitors is we can actually see what keywords that they are ranking for in using the Google Keyword Planner so we can find all of the relevant keywords for their websites. We can go into the Google Ad Transparency Center. We can see if they're running any Google ads and we can go directly into the Facebook ad library and see if they're running any Facebook ads. So let's just do this with the joint. So we're just gonna use this as our example. So some of the different things that we're trying to look for are offers landing pages, ad copy, we're trying to look at individual ads. And what we're trying to do is just find, okay, are these companies advertising on, are they advertising with Google ads? Are they advertising with Facebook ads? Are they, do they have a lot of relevant keywords to their website? So let's start in the Google ad transparency center. And if we come over here to all topics, you can search either by advertiser or by website name. So if we search here, let's just search the joint, which is the name of their and we are looking for the joint chiropractic down here. Okay, so this is the actual brand that we're looking for. You can see all topics, anytime, ads shown in the United States. This has been a little bit buggy recently, but we can actually see some of the different ads that they're running. Some of these are just based in different types of areas. So if we click here, this is a, a specific area where the joint chiropractic is. You can see their advertisement here and we can look over and we can see some of the variations. So some of the images that they're using, you can see they have their phone call asset here. They have a location asset since they have directions here. You can see all of the different types of ads that they're running. So this is one of the places that I like to look. The Google Ad Transparency Center has been a little bit buggy for me recently where I'm, I'm having trouble. Anytime I click on something, it tends to freeze. So if we click on it and we just scroll down, we can see some of the different advertisements that they are running here. So that's one of the first things that I'll do. And usually what I'm looking for is what offer do they have? What are they actually doing in their headline? $29 walk-in chiropractor, no appointments needed. And you can see this is the joint.com slash chiropractic slash Phoenix. This is the same thing slash Peoria. So we're basically seeing a lot of different locations that they have here, but $29 first visit is the offer that they continuously advertise. So if you're somebody who is working with a chiropractic client and their their first visit is $199, you may wanna say, okay, this, this is a competitor of yours. Even if it's a massive company, they have a larger marketing budget and they are giving an offer that's much better than the offer that you're giving. So you can promote, hey, we're a local place. We have experienced doctors. We have, you know, we have doctors that have been here for years and years and maybe you offer a $99 first visit or a $59 first visit or something like that. 
Open nights and weekends, no appointments needed. Get your $29 offer now. You may not be able to compete with some of these larger organizations, but these are some of the things that I'm looking for. I also like to see, are they running ads in different formats? So you can look at, and again, this has just been so buggy for me. You can look, if you click on the drop down here for formats, if they're running image ads or if they are running video ads. And this is where having a list of competitors comes in handy because I'll go right over to the Hoth. I'll see, okay, who's also has some AdWords keywords here? Well, Google Ads keywords. Uh, but who else has some Google Ads keywords here? And we'll use some of that information to say, okay, Cairo1.com. Are they running video ads? What other angles are they taking on Google Ads? Same thing with the Facebook ad library. This, you tend to see some more creativity. So if we come over here, we want to select our location. We want to select all ads here in this case. And then we're just going to search. And I already pulled this one up. But we can search either by keyword or we can search by uh, advertiser name. So if we search the joint chiropractor, see if we can find... Okay, so the joint chiropractic, so we're going to open it up, and you can see they have ran a good amount of ads, so about nine results launched in December. They also have some older ads as well, but what I like to see again is what offer are they using? What are they trying to actually promote? Expert care, where, when you need it. The thing I, uh, this is again, $29 new patient special launched in November, so they have some videos here, so if you click on them, you can actually see what the videos say, and you can actually use some of that information as well to say, okay, how are they promoting their service? So seeing some of the ads can be very useful. If you click here, it's gonna open up their actual Facebook page, but if we click on summary details, you can actually see more information about their ads. And if we click on learn more, we can actually see what their landing page looks like. So this is the landing page that they are using for their Facebook ad. You can see their UTM tracking at the very top here. Claim your offer now, new patient special, they have a form right here and sometimes what i like to do is say okay what okay this just brings us directly to the form that's what i figured would happen and then what other things they have on their landing page as well questions that they're answering claim my offer now brings me right back to the form so basically they're just jumping to the form anytime we click on these buttons this is the main conversion they're optimizing for so this is how i kind of like to look at okay what are they doing with their advertisements and i like to look at large companies because they tend to test the most they tend to have the largest budgets so it can help us kind of get out of some of the tests that we may have to run initially the other thing that we can do is if we come over here to the keyword planner this is one of my favorite things to do to find actual keywords to target for google ads so if we come over here and what we can do is we can start with a website so you go to your tools and settings here there is a new version of google ads so yours may look a little bit different but you're still looking for tools and the keyword planner when you open it discover new keywords start with a website and we just want to take their actual website url here you can also take individual pages but i tend to use the entire website url come over to the keyword planner use the entire website and click on get results and what we're going to get are a ton of relevant keywords that are related to the industry that we're going to be serving so we have over a thousand keywords here and we can see all of the different keywords that they are targeting now these can be very useful for a variety of reasons one of the things I like to do first is look at some of the keywords with very, very high bids. Now, this is a ridiculous one, but as we come down here, you can see some of these are based on specific locations. So if you have a chiropractic client in a specific location, let's just say maybe our client is serving the entire Miami market. So our, we have a chiropractic client that serves this whole market, probably wouldn't serve all the way down into Key West, but maybe they have a Key West location as well. So we click on save, we can actually find keywords that are gonna be the most relevant for that area. We could look by average monthly searches. This is going to be based on the data in Miami, Fort Lauderdale. We could look at the top of page bid, which keywords have the highest bid range. The reason why I like to look at this is advertisers that are bidding higher on specific keywords. These are the keywords that drive the most value. Emergency chiropractor near me is a keyword that represents somebody who's looking for a chiropractor right now. You wanna be the one to serve them. Now they also have things like the joint here, their franchise, these aren't keywords you want to target. So ultimately what you're trying to do is come through all of these different keywords here and there's over a thousand keywords and you want to find the keywords that have the highest monthly search volume, keywords that have some of the highest bids, whether it's the high range, the low range. And if we just come over here to average monthly searches, as you scroll through, you're going to be able to find all sorts of different keyword ideas, keyword ideas that can turn into content ideas. Now there's a step further you can take this where you can actually take some of these different keywords here put them into a tool like ChatGPT or Bard or Claude and say, can you use this list of keywords and produce for me 20 different topic ideas? And they will do that for you. So just give them 100 keywords and say, can you produce 20 different topic ideas? And that will be an easy one. Back adjustment could be a blog article. What is a back adjustment? Why do you need a back adjustment? How do we perform back adjustments? 
contact us today. So you could basically take a blog article and promote your business at the same time. So this all started in Google Trends. We did a quick search for chiropractor. What we found was the joint.com or the joint chiropractic. You're always going to be able to find different brands within Google Trends. This doesn't work for every single industry, but it works for a lot of them. So whether you're selling a product, you can enter a specific product in here. So you have a client reach out to you that sells running shoes. We look at the search term running shoes, past 90 days, web search. We scroll down. Okay, we have Brooks Sports. There's a brand. A6 is a brand. Keep coming over. Gore-Tex is a fabric. Don't know what it is. Carbon topic or carbon plate topic. Um, what I like to also look at are some of these top top keywords. Some of these are a little bit brand related, but the rising keywords, you can find all sorts of long tail keywords using Google Trends. Winter running shoes. Let's see, we have carbon plated running shoes, super shoes running, not sure what that is, Gore-Tex running shoes, don't know what that is, carbon plate again, track running shoes, track shoes, marathon running shoes. So once you have a list of related search terms, what you're able to do is come over to the keyword planner, enter Brooks running directly into the keyword planner, use some of these other tools like the Moz competitive research tool, true competitor and also the Hoth competitor research tool. So you can actually see the competitive research report. And what that does is just helps you find all sorts of different competitors. You can use those competitors to find what types of Google ads they're running, what types of Facebook ads that they may be running, what their landing pages actually look like. So you can get some ideas about where you're sending your traffic to, some of the offers that, they're, that you are using. And then last but not least, all of the different keywords that are relevant to that brand. So you can do all of this to not only find keywords for your Google ads campaigns, Generally, how I find Google Ads keywords is seeing what keywords people are bidding a little bit higher on. And while you may be bidding higher for some of these keywords, it's because if you look at all these keywords, it's people that are actively looking for a chiropractor, chiropractors that are open today, mobile chiropractor, walk-in chiropractor, alignment, near me open now, spinal adjustment near me. These are people, urgent care chiropractor. These are people that are looking for this service as fast as possible. Looking by average monthly searches can be helpful for your search engine optimization strategy, just seeing what people are searching the most so you can actually optimize your campaign for those keywords. So you can download this CSV file up here and use all of this competitive information to actually serve your new client. And we started just using Google Trends. So using some of these different tools can be very helpful if you are trying to do some competitive analysis, trying to put together an advertising strategy, trying to see what some of the competitors are doing. Take it one step further, see what they're doing on social media as well. How often do they post? What are they posting? Some of the different things that you can also do to help implement with your new clients. So if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.